Good evening. On behalf of the Ignite Phoenix crew and Scottsdale Center for, for, the, for the Performing Arts, we welcome you to Ignite Phoenix 9. This is our ninth show, and it's an amazing ride that we've had so far. Uh, you may have noticed in your programs that we once again have put together a CD of 10 local bands who have given their music for this purpose. Please enjoy it. We love these bands. Okay, you came here this evening not to hear some fancy politician, not to hear some grand orator. You're here to listen to 18 special people who have something special that they want to share with us. They're here to follow after me in the same way that I'm speaking to you now. They have five minutes, 20 slides, and the slides don't stop. This is hard work. It's hard to do this. Why would somebody volunteer to do this? Well, the types of people that do this might be people like this. <laughs> well, maybe not like this. But there are people who do dress in unusual clothes because something drives them to do that. Somehow they have something inside them that makes them want to part participate in unusual things and see and do different things. Some people have to sing. Some people have to play. Some people are very public with what they do. This is because there's something inside them that drives them, that gives them meaning in their life and it gives them the passion to do these things. Other people do things that are a little bit behind the scenes. We have chefs who worry about every single grain that's placed on the plate. We have people who design things that others enjoy and they don't even realize who created it, but they're giving this gift for us. Some people have artistic talents. We have an art museum right here nearby and there we can see some sculptures or paintings or other works of art that, drive, that people are driven to create to make their world a better place and to get enjoyment for themselves. Not all of us can spontaneously dance in the street to give to the world, but all of us could have something that's important to us inside of us. We were all once small, we were all once young, and sometimes when we look at something, you watch a child, you can see when something catches them, and they look at the world with wonder. And if we're lucky as adults, we once in a while have those moments. When those moments happen, then something special becomes real to us. There's a spark that is lit inside. Some sparks are very fleeting, others are white hot, and they stick around a little longer than they would have as we think about them and we feel them. Sparks have a tendency to start other sparks, and a strong spark will create all kinds of side ideas and tangents as we think about what that event or that thing we just learned means to us. So then, if we're lucky, one of these sparks might land in a place where it can warm us, where it can continue to burn inside. Maybe it's not big yet, but it's still there. And we have these places where we can learn and grow new passions and see something new, or maybe remember something that we had forgotten was important to us. Tonight, 18 people are going to throw so many sparks into this room, into this atmosphere, we are going to get hit by so many ideas, maybe not exactly the topic that those people are talking about, but something they say will make you think of something else. Something's going to happen to you. Your brain, be careful, may catch on fire. Now remember, these thoughts are, are special, and they're something that can create something in you to make your life different and better. Our hearts can be touched by these same ideas, and suddenly the inner child can come forward again. The inner child that we didn't know or we had forgotten was there. Let these ideas come into you as you, these presenters speak. Let them become hot. Let them stoke you tonight. Because here tonight, you can take something away that changes your life in a way that you didn't think would happen. These coals can get burning bright, and we need them tonight. Your job is to support, cheer, and respect these speakers that come after me. Because our heat, our passion, our coals can ignite them to do even better. And we will then enjoy them as much as they're enjoying talking to us. And they will have this great victory of the joyous fire of their passion igniting ours. We can make all these connections. And this gift that they give to us is something we need to accept and support. So don't forget, tonight we ignite Phoenix. Thank you, and let's get started.